Go to the Stratigraphy menu and choose the Model option. Add a check mark to the Interpolate Surfaces item. Click on the Options button adjacent to the Interpolate Surfaces checkbox. You will now be presented with the Stratigraphic Modeling Options menu. Click on the Modeling Sequence option. Select the Base to Top Onlap option. Click on the Gridding Options item. Within the Algorithms section, you'll see a list of different interpolation methods. You can get a detailed description of these methods by clicking on the Help button. Next, select the Inverse Distance Algorithm. Set the dimensions to use the output dimensions. Activate the declustering and smoothing, and turn off all of the other additional options. Click the OK button to close the Stratigraphy Modeling Options dialog. Now, click on the Diagram Options button. Turn off everything, and then press the OK button. Press the Process button and the program will interpolate grid files for the top and base of each stratigraphy formation to form the stratigraphy model diagram and display it within a Rockplot 3D tab. Click on the Stretch button so that you can get a better look at the different layers within the diagram. Click the plus sign to the left of the stratigraphic model in the data tree to show the individual components within this object. You should now see a list of all the stratigraphy formations within the model. Try unchecking the individual formations and notice what happens to the diagram. Now, Turn on just the Spurgeon formation and press the plus button next to it to see its subcomponents. Play around with these subcomponents and you'll soon see that each stratigraphic unit is made up of a top grid, a bottom grid, and side profiles. Next, let's generate the stratigraphic model but take advantage of an option that allows us to better view pinched out and thin units. Click on the Diagram option and check the Hide Thin Zones option. Set the thickness cutoff to 0.5 and regenerate the diagram. Now, if we start peeling away overlying stratigraphy, we'll see that the Leadville formation is discontinuous and pinches out to the west. Finally, we'll save this diagram as stratigraphymodel.rw3d by selecting the File Save option.